On today's battlefield, soldiers must accurately, effectively, and rapidly locate precise targets. The mission of PEO Soldiers Product Manager Soldier Precision Targeting Devices is to design, develop, test, and procure, and then field the best equipment for targeting devices that the Army has ever seen. This allows us to acquire targets, to quickly and rapidly identify if it's a target or not, and then pass that information on to a shooter, whether that's an aircraft or an indirect fire, a field artillery unit. Some examples of precision targeting devices that we currently field our soldiers are the trigger, the Vector 21, the Mark 7E, and the LLDR. So fielding the best technology and the best equipment in the world is only half the battle. The other half of the battle is making sure that soldiers receive their net training and new equipment training to make sure that they're proficient, capable of using this great equipment. New equipment training is much more than just the traditional classroom setting and PowerPoint slides. Soldiers train through practical exercises to ensure they are proficient on all their targeting devices. The first step is calibration. Without proper calibration, the device can't produce accurate coordinates that our warfighters need to precisely locate and destroy enemy targets. Training then covers the terrain sketch. This provides a quick reference document for items of interest in his or her area of observation, allowing the soldier to quickly orient him or herself when the target appears. Through observation exercises, the soldiers utilize and optimize their devices to pick out small objects in the terrain. By paying attention to details and their surroundings, the soldier can determine which objects represent friend, foe, or target. In the call for fire exercise, soldiers pass targeting data to trainers to simulate reporting battlefield information back to headquarters. The call for fire is one of the most important jobs a Ford Observer has to keep a unit updated on the current friendly situation as well as enemy movements. Hi, Sergeant Dunaway. I've uh, been 3-1, three, three years now. We've gone over the, uh, the Vector 21. Definitely an awesome piece of equipment. Uh, laser range finding is always real spot on. It comes with uh, three times magnifier and uh, direction. Definitely a battlefield changer, lightweight, uh, easy to use, easy to carry. Uh, definitely something that I've, I've always been fond of in uh, theater. I'm Sergeant Williams. I'm from the 1st Battalion, 26th Infantry Regiment here at Fort Knox, Kentucky. This piece of equipment I'm holding here, it's known as the Trigger. It makes my job a lot easier. It'll make everyone's job a lot easier. I'm pretty confident in my abilities to uh, train up other soldiers on the use of it because it's that easy to pick up. My name is Staff Sergeant Alexander. Uh, due to the LDR, we were able to locate a building that was threatening a sister fire base. We then called in for GPS guided artillery round. And it took care of the threat. My name is Sergeant Landon. I've been in 3-1 for about three and a half years now. Received this Mark 7 Echo downrange actually in theater. We started getting indirect rockets. We just started getting bombed like crazy. I had literally just got into the mountain. I pulled this out, self-located it, fired a target, map checked it, called it in. Three enemy KIA. These are just a few testimonials about the benefits of precision targeting devices. These devices enable the soldier to engage targets with precision accuracy, which decreases casualties, saves lives, and dominates the battlefield. Everything that we do in PEO Soldier is focused on the soldier. We always want to make sure that we have the best equipment in the hands of the soldier to ensure that they never enter into a fair fight. We always want to have all the odds stacked against the enemy and in our favor at all times.